Shalom Aleichem, Assalamu Alaikum, Enrini Mazisu, Pax Wobiskum. So this is my third video on the situation in Israel in the year 2023 that began October the 7th, uh, which was, according to the Halal 2 calendar, the Shemini Atzeret, the eighth day feast, and was also a weekly Sabbath as well. So I want to uh, do this video for those who want to help Israel. I want to uh, do something about it, not just pray about it. So there's an organization called FAI, uh, which is headed by Dalton Thomas, and and also Joel Richardson's part of their organization, who I greatly respect and admire his ministries and books and and uh, his heart for the, the, the church in the end times. Uh, for all believers, whether Jewish or Christian, you know, and even Muslim. So this is an organization that, um, let's just read it. They have prioritized the production of excellent Jesus-exalting media with an anti-industry funding model, enabled, uh, enabled us to release all our films, music pub publishing, and various media with our free and free forever policy. Uh, okay, that's not really what they do, but um, operations, maybe that's what it is. So our commitment. As an organization and spiritual family, FAI is committed to exalting the worth of Jesus Christ, Yeshua, among the unreached and unengaged at the end of the age, we share Paul's amb ambition shared in Romans fifteen twenty to lay foundations for the gospel where none yet exist and declare the name of Jesus where he has not yet been known. This is our burden and privilege until our great king splits the sky in power and glory. Our commitment to reach those who do not have the gospel is complemented by a commitment to, re to resource those who do have the gospel. To this end, all our media messaging, films, music, publishing, podcasts, etc., are funded project by project through the sacrificial giving of like-minded friends and family worldwide and made available online with our free and free forever policy. So that's their ministry, and uh, this is how you can help. It's right here in support, and I do... Uh, give to this organization. So it says donate. There's an Israeli bomb shelter campaign, a $5 campaign, the producer circle and mobilization. So uh, let's go to donate. You can see the various ways we can give electronically or by check. And they have a general fund, frontier fund. I believe that's just for preaching the gospel throughout the world, especially the 1040 window are most, mostly Muslim-majority nations in the Middle East and Africa and parts of Asia. A studios fund for their productions and an Israel fund, which really is about the bomb shelters, to be honest, but uh, because of what's happening right now, uh, it's going to go towards uh, those who are affected in Israel and, and help them to prepare for what's coming because they did do a... Uh, they're doing a, a bomb shelter project where they're restoring a lot of bomb shelters and it's helped uh, people in Israel in an immense, in a great way. And one of the things that <clears throat> I really admire about this organization, well, besides that they actually do help those in Israel, they actually are based in Israel as well. The, uh, Dalton Thomas lives in Israel, I believe in the Golan Heights. And uh, they aren't asking for a lot of money, to be honest. Uh, look at this one, the $5 giving. Skip a coffee, change the Middle East. Let me just read this. Uh, the $5 monthly giving campaign. We launched the FAA app in January 2020, and it's blown up. It's exceeded every dream or expectation we had. And we love hearing how the content is serving many of you. Since our founding in December 2011, We've prioritized prophetic integrity over a profit margin. So that's another good thing there. 
FAI Studios is committed to producing excellent media that exists or that exalts the worth of Jesus and resources those who have who have the gospel and giving them away for free. Our policy has always been free and free forever. If our content has blessed you, we invite you to enjoy to join our $5 monthly giving campaign to fund the growth of the gospel across the 1040 window and reach those who do not have the gospel. So give $5 a month, which is roughly, what's that, a year, $60 a year. If you can't afford that, then, you know, that you must be in, living in hard times. You must, you must be destitute. And, you know, you can't give. So, But if you are able to, if Elohim is blessing you enough, that you can afford $60 a year, then why not, right? $60, or I should say $5 a month. Uh, and it doesn't even have to be in U.S. funds. It could be in $5 of whatever your currency is. And that's what I like about them. They're very flexible, and that, that's very... That's not asking for a lot, to be honest. $5 a month, and you can help uh, change the Middle East, specifically Israel, and even uh, the Muslim nations where... Uh, where the church is growing, like places like Iran, Afghanistan, so they've 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 helped uh, Iraqis, they've helped persecuted Christians in the Middle East, they've helped Muslims, even that have not converted, but they're just helping them in a humanitarian way. Uh, those war affected areas. So that's what I love about them. They really are, in my opinion, doing Yeshua's work. Like if Yeshua was here on the earth, that's what he would be doing, helping those in the Middle East, in the 1040 win window, and not just talking and, you know, he's actually there on the ground, boots on the ground, helping those who need medical help and whatever else help they can be given. Um, I truly, truly admire these uh, this organization and the people heading it. They have a heart for Israel, without a doubt, and what they preach is solid. It is founded in Scripture. Yes, it's not exactly messianic, you know, they don't keep all the feast days, etc., but I'm not saying that, that some of them don't. I really don't. I don't know their private lives. But they do understand and are aware of the feast days, the Moedim, the, the, the weekly Sabbath, the, the Torah, and the Tanakh, and so on. So uh, especially Joel Richardson, who has great, great insight into end-time prophecy, eschatology, and to be honest, he really subverted everything I thought I knew about the end times and the return of Jesus. So that's all I wanted to bring uh, to present for this video is, is how to help Israel. Um, again, I pray for Israel, those innocent, innocent and affected, uh, that they would turn and repent from their sins, that they would have a heart to love Adonai, and uh, that they would be kept safe, protected by his angels. And even I pray for the enemies of Israel that they would repent of what they're doing and that they would have mercy on those who are they're taking into captivity as hostages and so on. And I pray ultimately over all these things. I pray, number one, that the will of Adonai Elohim be done and his will, we know, is to use these events to chastise Israel, to punish them, not to destroy them, but to correct them so they would be humbled and return to him in genuine repentance so that he would ultimately save them from their enemies and even destroy their enemies himself, coming in the form of the Mashiach, Yeshua HaMashiach. Mm -hmm. So that's all I have for you in this video. This is how you can help, and this is, is what I'm personally doing. I'm actually, uh, I do donate to them. And I don't want to brag about that. I just want to say that not only do I support them by word, but in action as well. And if I could, if I wasn't doing this ministry for Septuagint Masoretic, I'd probably be working with them as you know, on the ground in uh, the countries that they do operate in. So that's all for this video. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, please do consider giving to FAI in this capa in, w in whatever capacity you can. It doesn't have to be monetary. You could even help them uh, in their various... Uh, operations. I believe they have uh, they have uh, let's see, strategy 
Okay, well, anyway, they have different ways you can, if you're medical personnel, for instance, you can go and help them on your train. No, that's the Maya's online. Okay, it's not it. Um, mobilization, there it is. So if you, if you are a healthcare worker or can, there it is, sending and sustaining global South laborers. So this is talking about the uh, Central and South America, Africa, and Asia, mobilizing laborers from the harvest fields. So not harvest like agriculture, but this talk about medical uh, qualified laborers. So much like the work of the Allies in the Second World War, those on the home front were deeply invested in the connected work, or in invested in and connected to the work of those on the war front. The war could not be won without the commitment and participation of both parties. All the resources in the world cannot serve as boots on the ground, and all the boots in the world can't hit the ground without the support of ascending community. So the mobilization initiative is a coordinated effort between FAI and the global body of Christ to in intentionally and strategically raise the required resources to send those who can go, want to go, and need funding uh, and provide an opportunity for those who want to serve and are called to send. So when you click on that link, it brings you here where I am. And, uh, oh, okay, he's talking about money. But anyway, but if you're able to join them as a somebody who wants to participate, like in this picture, or they want to help as a doctor or nurse or whatever they need, perhaps they will let you know um, what positions are needed. Uh, but that is how they help. Okay, um, I'm not sure what else I can say about this. They have a store as well. You can also buy some of their merchandise and support them that way. Uh, I know a lot of people like to have something they can hold or wear or use, and those funds would go towards their causes as well. Okay, uh, I'm not being paid by FAI, I just simply admire what they do. Um, and yeah, full disclosure, I, I'm not paid or any in any way sponsored by them. I'm simply moved by the spirit to uh, uh, bring more attention to you know, this issue regarding Israel and how, how can you help in that regard. And this is one of the ways that can be done. And there are many various other ways, but of all the organizations, I find them to be one of the most, uh, you know, have the most integrity and actually are helping, depending, you know, a lot of people have integrity, a lot of organizations have integrity, but in terms of the work that is being done, what they actually do, how they're helping, where they're located and their heart for Israel, what they teach and so on. There's so many, I'm very picky about <laughs> how I do things. So they just take all the boxes. And, and uh, so I hope uh, this has been helpful to you. And and you would consider uh, FAI is one of the ways you would uh, give in regards to helping Israel because you know we look at Matthew twenty five Yeshua asked uh, you know I was hungry and you fed me naked and you clothed me I was in prison you visited me and so on and then they asked when did we see you in those situations and he said when you did this to the least of my brethren you did it to me. And yes, I understand it's really all human beings, but especially in these times where you, you could be persecuted for helping Israel, you could be fired, you could be a target yourself and lose your life helping Israel, such as uh, you know Oscar Schindler and Corey Ten Boom be like one of those people. Uh, that's even greater when, when there's risk to your life and you're in danger for helping Israel and showing your support to them. Uh, Elohim knows all. And he will reward you for that, that you put your life in the line and you don't regard your life as, as being important to preserve, that you, you lose your life in the process, but you actually do gain it. Um, you gain a treasure in heaven. So that's all, I have for the, that's all I have for you for this video, how to help Israel essentially is what it is, this third video. Uh, so number one, I did the prayer video earlier and then number two is talking about know how to pray for Israel in this time and, and just kind of understanding the situation in, term, in, in the eyes of prophecy through scripture and how, um, the possibilities of where this is headed to 
Or is it seems to be the beginning of the birth pangs? Or is it Jacob's trouble? I don't believe it's Jacob's trouble. Because that's towards the end, the three and a half years. Uh, but could be leading to a diaspora, potentially. And this video right now is uh, how to help Israel. Um, but what we could do to help to show uh, Yeshua living in us, essentially. Unless you're living in Israel, you could you know, help out in that way, being on the ground there, <laughs> helping maybe the idea for helping your neighbor or what have you, praying and, and helping in whatever opportunity presents itself. But to those who don't live in Israel, such as myself, this is one of the options. So thank you once again, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Shalom Aleichem, Assalamu Alaikum. We're going to continue with our regular programming, with our <laughs> regular uh, videos covering the book of uh, the Tanakh, essentially. Uh, we have very, very m monumental content ahead. I'm very excited to present it. So I wanted to do these videos just to help process what's going on. And, and I know people make judgments whether you're silent on an issue or you're silent so you don't support Israel or you, or, you, or you, you're too vocal for Israel or whatever. You know, people are going to judge. But I'm not doing this to, to gain praise of men because obviously my, my opinions on a lot of things, especially even this situation, they're not going to be popular. If I tell a Jewish person on the street or a Jewish friend of mine, say, you know what, uh, my heart goes out to Israel, the people of Israel, but this is ultimately happening because of sin and God is chastising them. He's not going to like that. Nobody likes being told that they're wrong. When the prophets told Israel, this is what's happening and this is why it's happening, they did not listen to them and, and at worst, they killed them. So, yeah. And anyway, but but if you finish with, you know, this is not to destroy you because it really isn't. This is so Adonai can show his greatness that he can show mercy to you, that he could humble your hearts and turn you in repentance to him in a true worship of him in the spirit and in spirit and in truth genuine love from your heart not just going by the letter of the law but by the spirit of the law and the law itself will be written on their hearts his commandments on their hearts are gonna uh, it's gonna be amazing and <laughs> but it's gonna be tragic before that it's gonna be a lot of sadness and mourning and destruction and in humanity and and what we're seeing right now, but just even in greater greater amounts and, and greater severity, greater levels. So, uh, but this is parts of, this is the plan of Elohim. This is prophecy unfolding before our eyes. But again, I, I did present in the previous video, second video, that there's three different years that this could or scenarios, there are two scenarios, but three different uh, years, kind of like uh, estimations of where, the, how how soon these things could could end or really start up, in terms of Daniel seven and Revelation uh, being unfolded before our very eyes, and you can just watch that video. So that's all I have for you in this video. Uh, thank you again, and until uh, next time, Miranath.